future and it's been time. I can only see what's right ahead of me. But you, Lord, you see it all. Past, present, and future, all in your hands. And so I surrender to your plan for my life. I pray that worry, anxiety, and fear will have no influence over my life. Nothing that is from the devil can overwhelm me in Jesus' name. It's you, Lord, who give me peace that surpasses all human understanding or comprehension. You, Lord, enable me to live it victoriously in a world full of chaos and madness. Although this world is full of conflict, it's filled with violence, crime, economic uncertainty, and so many divisions. I pray that you would help me to be fixated on the things above and not on the things on this earth. Help me to keep my focus on them, to remain devoted to you, to remain rooted and anchored in faith to you. I bow my heart. I surrender my will to you, God. A merciful and loving God. I'm going to give you I rebuke the spirit of fear of God. The only spirit I want to do the only spirit I am to into my life and into share this with every single gang stopped person that you know, y'all call yourselves TIs and stuff, whatever. Everybody you know, please, if there is anything that you could ever do for me that I would ask of you, okay, anything, screw money, that's not going to help. What I want you to do is please go and spam every single targeted individual, every single TI on YouTube, go to every single gang stalking uh, channel or anyone and everyone that talks about gang stalking in any way and go spam their channel by telling them to either watch this video or teach them yourself how to do the death songs. Okay? Because this stuff works. My gang stalkers, they don't exist anymore. They're all dead. How did they die? From these words that are about to come out of my mouth. They're freaking dead. Man, there's CIA guys that are dead. There's uh, FBI people that are dead. Cops, dead. Uh, EMS guys, uh, uh, emergency medical service, they're dead, man. Unemployed, wetbacks, niggers, and honkies, all dead. Freemasons, dead. I pray people to death and they fucking die. Okay, they die. And uh, the obituary column just filled with gang stalkers. Dead. This stuff works. If it wasn't Christianity, people would call it witchcraft because that's basically what it is. You're casting spells, but in Christianity, we call it prayers. But it's really no different than witchcraft. These death psalms and all the psalms in the Bible, and the Bible is basically a big book of witchcraft spells. It's really what it is. The difference between witchcraft and Christianity is only one thing. The source of the power. With witchcraft, the source of power is with the devil and, and other demons and fallen angels that disguise themselves as good creatures, which they are not. With Christianity, the source of power comes from the only entity that has any power. The all-powerful Yahuwah, which is the creator, the creator of everything, the creator of the universe. He is the universe. Uni, one, verse, word, one word. He is the one word. Who's the word of God? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? Yahushua, Yahushua, he says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. The word is the universe. Uni, one, verse, word, one word. The universe is one word. See, the Freemasons, when they named the universe a universe, they knew what they were talking about. They just choose not to believe in it. They choose not to worship it. Okay? You don't need to understand the numbers or numerology or gematria or any of that crap. They do. 
Because they don't obey Yahuwah. They don't obey the Creator. You don't need to do any of that. Neither do I. He knows everything because He created everything. He knows all the Jumatri. He knows all the numerical codes. He knows all of that. You have to be obedient, family. You have to obey Him. Obey His commandments. The Ten Commandments start with that. And once you get those, then start following His dietary laws and, and the other stuff. Okay? But, uh, yeah, to just, uh, Jesus Christ overcame the law. But you still have to obey His commandments. You still have to obey the commandments. Okay? It's just that you're living under the grace. And that if you break the commandments, you're not going to go to hell. Whereas before, before Jesus Christ came, came in the flesh, when you broke the commandments, you did suffer the potential of maybe going, on, going to hell, having hellfire upon you. You know, like David, he didn't have Christ yet. And he killed Uriah the Hittite so that he could take Uriah the Hittite's wife into his concubine, right? Moses killed the guy, right? So they, they all committed grievous sins. Did they go to hell? Of course not. But there is no Christ to save them. Why? Because the grace of the Most High Power is more powerful than His laws. He wants you to obey His laws, but He wants you to believe in His grace more. Okay? And so when people are picking on you, when people are trying to fuck with your head, I apologize for the, for the curse words. Okay? But you have to understand for the type of audience that I have here, I have to speak in the language that they speak, and they use a lot of curse words. Okay? So I have to speak the language they speak. So number one, I don't appear self-righteous. Okay? And then, so that I don't uh, uh, appear as, uh, you know, holier than thou, so to speak. Okay? So you have to be willing to speak in a language that, that, that people can understand, that your followers can understand. Okay? So when people are screwing with your mind, or people, because that, that's all that the devil tries to do when his children are the same thing, which is the CIA, uh, which is, uh, the CIA is a completely corrupt and evil satanic institution, and I think everyone is aware of that by now. They go to other nations and, and overthrow those nations and, and uh, kill the people whoever's leading those nations and then, and then insert some puppet, some muppet, some guy that's going to take their bribes, take America's bribes, and, and then exploit their own citizens, his or her own citizens, for our benefit, which is, is so wrong and so grotesquely evil on so many levels and brings curses to the entire populace of America, which is why you're seeing America becoming destroyed. You're seeing the economy of America be destroyed, the moral fiber of America be destroyed. Everybody's miserable. Everybody's in a bad mood. I'm not, but, no, but I have you know, I don't live by the standards of the typical American where they live by standards and just have to do it with some materialism. They don't care about anything else. And then they wonder later why their son and daughter committed suicide, you know, before they turn 21. They wonder why they're popping pills all the time and why their wife or their husband's nothing but a drunk. You, you, you brought curses upon yourselves and now you're going to have to live with those curses because you turned your back on God and then even worse than that, you're supporting an institution with the CIA and the FBI that are out there making enemies and villains out of innocent people just to do it. These are cursed institutions. Okay? So these are death psalms so that you, you have FBI agents or special agents or duty officers pursuing you or CIA guys pursuing you you say these prayers every single day I say them on the hour every hour every day you'll watch them die they will die because you're putting the everlasting curse upon them and it goes to the third and fourth generation so even after they die if they have children those children are going to be cursed and their children's children is going to be cursed at three generations and their children's grandchildren will be cursed so these death songs go over three, four generations deep in affliction, afflicting them because the Heavenly Father can't stand the people like that. They go and cause trouble for, for evil purposes. They go and, and, and uh, pursue innocent good people such as myself and such as you guys out there, you guys and girls, and, and go just try to terrorize you and cause harm in your life and just constantly screw them with your mind uh, just for evil purposes because you can see through their lies and they don't like that. There's nothing that God hates worse than a liar. That, that, that is the, the liar and the coward are the two kinds of people that God hates more than anyone else. He does. He hates liars and cowards. Okay. 
So in other words, as long as you don't believe their lies and as long as you are not fearful or intimidated by them, they can do nothing to you. The devil can do nothing to you as long as you don't believe their BS. As long as you don't believe their lies, they can't do anything to you. So as long as you don't believe their lies, number one, and number two, don't be afraid of them. They're going to try to use things to try to screw with your mind by way of deceiving you in some way and then by trying to instill some kind of fear or intimidation into you. Don't be fearful of these creatures at all. Okay? I'm going to teach you how to kill them with switches by using death psalms, by using prayers. Here we go. First of all, you say an Our Father before you begin the death psalms, and then you say Our Father afterwards. Why? To protect yourself. To protect your mind, your soul, your body, and your spirit, because you're opening a time space and bore the portal, a vortex, a wormhole, a stargate into the spirit world. And you're going to literally grab hundreds of thousands of demons and hurl them at these people. Okay? And you don't need to name who. Okay? Your guardian angels are the ones that are going to tell those demons who to attack. Okay? And your guardian angels, of course, are sinless. They're flawless. They came from the Heavenly Father and they're there to protect you. So your guardian angels will take the death song, send it to the Heavenly Father, who will command the Heavenly Father to command the guardian angels to command the demons to go attack and kill those people that do not like you and are engaged in conspiracies against you. And you keep praying these things until there's no one left on the earth except us. Okay? Every day. Here we go. Our Father, and then you say an Our Father afterwards to close that space-time portal so you keep yourself safe. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. And for you is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now here's the three death songs. Here we go. All right, get ready. This is stuff is pretty hardcore. It's not for the faint of heart, but you need to know these things. You need to have them memorized so you can say them. And you can use this as a spiritual tactic. You can't get arrested for it. You can't be oppressed. Nothing could happen to you because the, 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 the people that try to prosecute you in court of law, they'll be thrown out of court and they'll be laughing at them and say that those people are delusional. You know, guys just praying and just saying a bunch of words. How that person died just from words. You see? So you use that against them. Here we go. In my distress, I cried unto Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shein, he heard me, deliver my soul, O Yahuwah, from lying lips and deceitful tongues. What shall be given unto thee, and what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongues, sharp barrels of the mighty, what calls of your number, woe is me, the most of your number, shek, that the dwellers in tents in Qatar, my soul among dwellers of those, I hate peace, I am for peace, but when I speak there for war. O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shein, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shein, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, and win their reward to the Luciferian Satanists and atheists. Yahuwah, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph, how long shall they have to speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast of themselves? They break in pieces like people of Yahuwah and afflict their heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless, and yet they say, Yahuwah, show Yahuwah, she shall not see, and neither shall the power of Jacob, Yahuwah, regard it. Understand you, British, among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? He that planted the ear shall they not hear, he that formed the eye shall they not see, he that chastised the heathen shall not be correct, he that teach him knowledge shall not know Yahuwah, nor the thoughts of man that their vanity. Blessed is the man that thou shalt miss, Yahuwah, and teaches them out of thy law, and thou mayest give a rest from the days of adversity until the pit be dig for the wicked, for Yahuwah will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all of the upright in heart shall follow it. So who shall rise up for me against these evildoers? Who will stand up for me against these workers of iniquity? Unless Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shea, and then my help, my soul, and I must dwell in silence. When I said, My foot slipped, thy mercy, O Yahuwah, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts, I think that comforts the light of my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity, shall the throne of Luciferianism have fellowship with thee, return of mischief by a law? They gather themselves together and have the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shea, is my defense, and Yahuwah is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah. Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, Shei, shall cut them off. Hold not thy peace, O power of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue that compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love there are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded my evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou wicked men 
hang over them and let Satan stand at their right hand when they shall be judged let them be condemned and let their prayers become sins let their days be few and let another take their office let the children be fatherless and their wives widows let the children be continually vagabonds and beg let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places let the extortionate catch all that they have and let the stranger spoil their labor let there be none to extend mercy unto them neither let there be any to favor their fatherless children let the posterity be cut off okay. and let the generation fall and let their name be blotted out let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered with Yahuwah Yahushua Yahushua and let not the sin of their mothers be blotted out let them be before Yahuwah continually that they may cut off the memory of them from the earth because they remember not to show mercy when persecuted poor and needy people that they might even slay the broken in heart and they love cursing so let the curses come upon them as they delighted not in blessings so let the blessings be far from them as they clothe themselves with cursing like with their garments so let they come into their bowels like water like oil into their bowels let it be unto them as a garment which covered them for a girdle with a girdle continually let this be the reward of our adversaries from Yahweh Yahushua Yahweh let this be the reward of them that speak evil against our souls but do thou for us a power to master for thy name sake because our mercy is good deliver thou us for we are poor and needy and our heart is wounded within us we are gone like the shadow when the decline if we are tossed up and down as a locust on these are weak to fashion our flesh for the fatness we became also reproaching them and the promise they shake their hands help us O master our power O save us according to thy mercy that they may know that it is thy hand that thou Yahweh Yahushua Yahweh has done it let them curse but bless now when they arise let them be ashamed but let us your servants rejoice let our adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle I will greatly praise Yahweh Yahushua Yahweh from Mount Yeh I will praise him among the multitude for he shall stand at our right hand the right hand of the poor to save us from those that condemn our souls our Father Yahuwah who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we too forgive those who are sinned against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for you the kingdom and the power and the glory forever oh my when you say that you're sorry when you say that you forgive people when you forgive enemies when you forgive devil worshippers when you forgive these evil people what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them the heavenly father ignores those demon worshippers but when you forgive them you bring an attention to them and then when he sees how evil they are he not only does not forgive them but he kills them okay I'm 